So this is Tina, I am Tech, and we are sisters, and you have tuned in to Greek Bitches in the Kitchen. So, basically our channel consists of us making the top pinned recipes and seeing if they're worth you making them. So we're putting in the time before you put in the time. And we don't have like any like food TV um, camera thing going, but if somebody wants to donate some good cameras, we would be more than happy to make use of them. However, this is the setup. We are you in the kitchen, keeping it real. So today we are making chicken mushroom stroganoff. Side note, if there is a recipe that you want us to try, just send it to us and we'll be happy to try it. Yes, and uh, either put the recipe in there or the link to get to the recipe um, because this is all, you know, for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so when I googled um, the top pinned things for, or top searched recipes for 2019, mushrooms is one of them, stroganoff is one of them, this thing... Um, Pagan, which we'll get into that later. It's like have vegan, have paleo, makes no sense, but might be delicious, so whatever. Um, so we're doing the combination of the mushroom and the chicken, and we found the top pinned recipe, which is chicken, mushroom, stroganoff. So that's what we're making, and we'll have the recipe and the link of the original recipe and who posted it below in the description box. And so we're just going to go ahead and get into it now, and then I'll kind of go into more about why I like this particular recipe. It's too hot. God, I'm like burning up. Yeah, I know. I've met you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not rated for young people, by the way. <laughs> Hence the title of it. Okay, so this ingredient, four boneless skinless chicken breasts, eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, one eight ounce... <laughs> Not 18 ounces. Not 18 ounces. One 8 ounce package of cream cheese. Um, one 10 and a half ounce cream cheese chicken soup, which is I guess that big cream one. Cream of chicken soup, not cream cheese chicken soup. Is that what I said? Yes. <laughs> and that I have cream of chicken yeah, soup. Yeah, and now this can is 22 ounces. Why don't you get a 22 ounce? Because I thought that's what the 10 ounce was a big one. Not the small one. Did you not look at the ounce? Yeah, on that one. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. Okay, so half of this. About. About half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost ended up with 18 ounces of cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Salt and pepper, one envelope dried onion soup, fresh or dried parsley if you don't have fresh, and one, one pound large egg noodles. Okay, so we're going in with this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Now, originally this is supposed to be in a crock pot. Now, one, I have not quite grasped the whole crock pot cooking, um, and two, I don't think you guys want to stare at a video of a crock pot for three hours, and I just probably wouldn't edit that out. So, hi, we have a guest. Oh, no, you don't. oh yeah, we do. Come so we're on cooking in. it in a Dutch. Is this a Dutch oven? That's a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven. <coughs> this is Evie. This is our my. This is um, Dubby, and this is her daughter. Drive. <laughs> my love. So do you want some, do you want some wine? I don't have to drive all these. Okay, so originally in this recipe, you take the chicken and you lay them whole, I guess, in a lightly greased crock pot. And I'm cutting it up because I'm not cooking it in a crock pot. And I guess Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this in the Dutch oven. And I'm gonna cook the chicken first um, till it gets you know fairly cooked through, and then I'll add the other layers and then cover it and let it simmer and do its thing. So, what you put in there, olive oil? Uh-huh. Yeah, I have olive oil in there. Okay, so while that's uh, doing its thing, so here's the thing about this that I liked. <clears throat> so this recipe came from um, a girl by the name of Alyssa Rivers, and her blog is The Recipe Critic. And again, I'll have the link down below. Um, so, in her blog, she talks about how 
she had just returned from a weekend in Boston and it was fabulous. Now, that was her first time in the city and she fell in love with it. I like that because I love Boston. First time I went, I fell in love with it and I highly suggest anybody that can go to Boston in the summer. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, anyway, so she gets home and this is what she whips up because she could do it under five minutes, put it in the crock pot, she have to think about it and then it's ready, which I guess is the glorious thing about a crock pot. All right, so another thing in this particular recipe is she also links a recipe, which I really love her for this, is if you have the time and you want to, you can actually make your own cream of mushroom soup if you don't want to do the can. It's chicken. Oh yeah, cream of mushroom. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna go so freaking well. <laughs> She has a recipe for homemade chicken, cream of chicken soup. Instead of having to buy it, if you don't want to buy it in the can, you can um, make it yourself, which I think is cool that she added that because I'm all about from scratch. I'm not a big fan of opening up anything. Um, but she has it in there, and so if you want to make the soup ahead of time, I guess you could, and then use it, which I, I might one day make her soup and let you know how it is. If I go to make like green bean casserole, we'll yeah, make. Yeah, I'm a big fan of opening cans. You are. But if we do chicken, uh, that green bean casserole, we'll make it with her recipe of soup. Although I have to say, I don't like vegetables in a can. I like frozen or fresh. I don't like. I don't like. Vegetables. I don't. I just. I'm not big on opening up a package of anything. But so, I don't want to make a homemade soup to go in a recipe. Some of us do. Yeah. No. And that's okay. Okay. So her, she, she's got a cute blog if you like, like if you're the type of person that likes to like read the blog that goes the recipe. She's really cute, um, very pretty girl, and her rest, her pictures look good. I mean, it's, she does, you know, she's much more professional than we are. And it, <laughs> <laughs> it's really great, As check a, her out. As a, so I'm gonna have the link down below and um, just check her out. You know, it's cool and this is, this particular recipe has been pinned and looked at I mean it's like apparently the go-to right now so and when it's done we'll let you know, we'll give you our honest opinion of how we think it tastes now it might taste different or have a better feel to the mouth because it was in a crock pot for you know days and so it'll probably be velvety. it's not days but yeah it's hours so those of you that love to cook in a crock pot I think definitely give it a try um, for those of you that like these kind of recipes but not big on crock pot then this is the way to go so maybe we'll see yeah by the end of we'll it. let you know and then we're also gonna let you know you know if it's worth you spending the time but at the end of the day it's about the flavor and um, again okay, the, the pot's getting hot is there something in it should we like yeah there's oh, chicken, there's in, chicken it. in it <laughs> Should we stir it? Maybe stir it. <laughs> Amy, you sure you don't want to come in here? <laughs> She's not going to be a witness to this family. <laughs> How's that wine doing, ya? <laughs> If there is actually a lot of people that tuned into this, so on the sorry. Very big <laughs> really, really sorry. Um, if there's a small percentage of you that came in, um, thanks. And um, for the big portion, tell your friends and tell them you'll give them a dollar or something, you know. Um, also, I'd like to say for those of you that showed up because of one of the keywords for the channel, um, was a naughty word, you're going to be highly disappointed. But you might be entertained, so what stick around. We have a keyword? Well, I looked up, like, what is the most, like, search thing. So on your YouTube channel, you can put in, like, keywords. You know, like, if What's people search. keyword? Well, there's a lot of them. But the naughty one is, so. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> You'll just have to do your own oh cyber stalking to figure that part out. But. Needless to say, so um, we'll also have links. <laughs> so um, the next thing that I will say is that uh, you can see our social media links down below. We have one Instagram, 
and it's sisters in the kitchen because they don't like really like you to swear and I think for younger people that are going in I don't you know I try to keep it somewhat rated but the videos no promises okay so we got the chicken going and now next we're gonna add it's supposed to be the mushrooms but because mushroom has a lot of water and it cooks down really really quick I'm going to go ahead and add the cream cheese and about half of that can since I got too big of one mm -hmm. and a packet of soup mix I and I got what did I get? Onion? onion? I got an onion soup mix. So what is it called for? I don't know. It just said a dry envelope of onion, onion soup It said mix. onion soup mix. All right. Good. Oi. Okay. You want me to bring it over there so they can see what it looks like? No, we are, okay. we're, not, we're not a food network. We're just for, this is you in the kitchen. You wouldn't drag a camera over the stove. I mean, we don't have, we don't have that. So we don't have that kind of sponsorship. I'm to drop it in anyway. Thanks. Okay. That was my contribution. Uh-huh. And then to this, we're going to add half a can of the chicken. Of this soup. I think that's half. That's yeah, that's half. Does that look like ten ounces to you? Yeah, sure. That's half. Toast and garlic chicken. Oh I know I saw that recipe. Oh, and we also will have a Pinterest set up where uh, with the link and then all the recipes that we've done. We'll take a picture, we'll put it on Pinterest with the link to the original recipe and, you know, so it, yeah. if you want to make it easier for yourself you can, and you like us and you like what we make, then you can just click and then go shopping and easy peasy. Okay, so now we're going to make banana bread nut bread while this um, stuff is cooking up. Oh, we're going to the bread now. We're going to the bread. This needs to soften. I'm gonna have to grate it. Oh, but if you no, if you put it in, if you get a glass and I, oh yeah, and you heat, you heat it, it and, and you put, put it, it on over. top of the butter. Now's a good time to find out if that really works. We'll we'll do that in a minute. Then we'll see. Oh, I, don't I think have you have to. Do you have to put like boiling water in it and then. Well, well let's water. see if it works. Well, we're not there yet. We just soften it though. I know, but I don't know if soften. It'll be soft when you're ready. I don't want it to be melted. It'll be softened. It'll be softened, not melted. When we're ready for it, but we're not, we gotta make this first. Do you understand? You get it soft and you take it out of the cup. Then it is no longer melting. But by the time we use it, the kitchen is warm and it will be melted by the time we get to it. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I mean, we can do it. I can just pull That's out another right. stick of butter. Try. We can re-soften. We'll do it your way. <laughs> no. Are you, are you itching to do that? Let's we'll just do it. Okay. I just want to see if it works. How long are you supposed to keep it in there? I don't know. I guess till, till it gets hot. And then just hold it. Leave I'd it say in there. I'd say it's hot. No, it has to get really hot. I don't think so. I think you just got to No, because it has to have time for I don't stuff. think so. Can I put it on something? Instead of the counter? It's not going to melt out of the stick until you open it. No, you're supposed to put it. I know. No, you keep it in the paper. Just put it in. Watch. Just watch. No, just wait. Go ahead. Just let us sit. Go. <clears throat> no, I need the space, and I'm gonna record this so people can see. I will move this, this until it so you have. It will soften. I don't think you left that water. In I anymore. think I did. Look, the glass is hot. That's all it needs. Let's see. Oh, it's getting soft. Yeah, the outside is. It's going to melt and the inside is going to be hard. Swish it. Okay. So. Okay, normally you should wash your hands before touching Mine your food. Mine are clean. <laughs> okay, look, you're not eating it, so. <laughs> no. no <I> can't. <laughs> what difference does it make? That is hysterical. Only fam is eating this. Maybe. I'll mash. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so this is by uh, Joanna. How do you say her last name? Where? I don't like it. Banana bread right now. Oh, ooh. Okay, we're going to do a couple versions of this. Kiss Maru? Kiss. Sice Maru? 
C-I-S-M-A-R-U. Yeah, that's it. And we're going to leave the link to this, obviously, down also in the description box. Um, I wonder what nationality that is. I don't know. I mean, when you look, it looks like a pretty name. Um, that's a pretty name. Okay, is that matched enough? Yeah. Now, she'll have, on this one, she has the calories serving. It says 12. We're Greek, so maybe four. Um, takes about an hour to cook. We'll see. Okay, so to this, so we have... It's our girlish figures. Mmm, we're very Greek on that. A uh, half cup of vegetable oil. My cups are in my kitchen. I really want to film that hole in your ass. What else? I'm glad you're a girl. <laughs> I don't see the point. I just don't. I don't because know. I like these jeans. I like I like the way they fit. They're very comfortable. And I like them. Did now, you make the holes or they no. were already there? The one in the knee was already there when Did I you bend over and split that one? It had a little one and it just kept growing. Um the one in the knee was already there when I sold the jeans. And um but the one in the butt had just a small hole right on the side, and it has expanded with okay, my Okay, nothing pretty about my ass hanging out of hole size. in the jeans. My ass isn't hanging out. You can't... Dude, when I'm seeing a shirt, it's like... There ain't nothing pretty line. about my leg hanging out in the jeans. You can't no, see No, not really. Till you bend over. Is that um, yoga? Half. Uh, is that Greek? Yeah. Okay, it said just... Uh, is it vanilla? No, it's plain yogurt. I got Greek yogurt because that's all I could find that was plain. So a half a cup. Okay. With the bananas? Yeah. Add yogurt. You sure. Is what it says. This is a one bowl, no mixture needed. She kept it very okay. simple. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, add a half cup vegetable oil. Let me rinse. You don't have to, you just gonna pour it in. Okay, there's my pet peeve. It's all going in the sun. I know. Where's the vegetable oil? Over there. The big, the big, this one? That's the one. Okay, she's fancy. Mine is actually in the bottle that says great value vegetable oil. I like Publix. It's where shopping is a pleasure. Not for me. Half a cup vegetable oil. Half a cup. It's a lot of vegetable oil. Half a cup. Okay, here we go. Half a cup. In the bowl. Okay, and then um, add two eggs. Okay, two eggs. Hold the whole egg. Uh -huh. Look, I can do this. Yeah. Uh huh. One hand. Did you do it with one hand? Yes, I can do that. Now what do I do? Uh, I don't know. I'm over here. All right. Okay. One tablespoon vanilla. You know, the thing about wine is things start to get a little more one tablespoon. What? You're getting blurry? Okay, now I'm going to... Whoa! Tablespoon or teaspoon? Um, a tablespoon. Ooh! What is that? See, I almost did a teaspoon. A tablespoon is bigger. Yeah. See what I mean? Okay, I almost put 18 ounces of cream cheese. And you, the, the sad thing is, <laughs> you're never slightly inebriated. No. Okay, so now I'm going to make my noodles for this. At least I have a reason. Stuff. Okay, one tablespoon. Before I dump, we're sure. Yeah. Tablespoon, okay. And um, when you make pasta, you know, you should always make it with very salty water. I don't do, like, salty. And I like should have worn a thing. Do you want an apron? Because, yeah, I do. It's hanging out. Um, you're supposed to make pasta with, like, really salty water, like, salty like the ocean. Um, I don't like it quite that salty. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to have to invest oh, in fancier I'm aprons. I not. I think maybe another. Look, you have a pocket. But I'm going to wear it anyway. So pretty. Where'd you get this? I don't know. It was here with the house. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. So that's all. And I then feel oil, so. I you know what I feel like? Hmm. I don't know what I feel like. Old. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, it's too funny. I gotta be honest. Okay. And quickly whisk everything together. How quickly? Is your thing broke? No, you turn the knob at the bottom. Holy crap. I've never seen that. I Mine are already cooking. formed. Okay, she didn't add like the baking soda, the baking powder, or the salt yet, or the flour. I'm not supposed to, am I? No. Okay, okay, yeah, whisk everything together and then whisk in sugar, then add flour, and then the sodas and the salt. Do not over mix after that. I am customizing us some aprons. Okay. I am making us some aprons. Can they be like. Um, they are gonna say. What's that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Great bitches in the kitchen. That's what it's gonna say! <laughs> Okay, that's whisk. Now what? Okay, now you need um, to sugar. add your sugar. So you need a half cup of sugar and a half cup of sugar. Whisk the sugar, then add flour. It's you think it is, but if it's not, <laughs> well, then we add more <laughs> no. self-rising ingredients. No, it's not self-rising. It's supposed to be all purpose. I think it's supposed to be all purpose. But what happened was Yaya bought... A bag of flour and she thought it was self-rising and we poured it in this and she doesn't label like I label so anyway she was making biscuits they didn't rise so she thinks this is all-purpose uh, and I wasn't sure and I didn't want to use it as all-purpose just in case so I use it as a mixing flour like for batters so let's go with it yeah it didn't rise so right. this is all-purpose it's supposed to be we'll see one and three cups. All right, so before I add salt and pepper to this, uh, this stroganoff. better be all purpose because I really want some banana bread. This well, if it's not really all purpose, fine. It's... okay, that's one. Yeah, half cup. Yeah, that's one. What is it? Flour. Are you putting in sugar, or Tina? That's not sugar. Did you put sugar? I white sugar and the sugar. Where does it say brown sugar? Half brown oh, sugar. Oh no, I only put white sugar. So then just dump. Do you have what is that? Give me that brown sugar. I put just better in there just so to be more caramely tasting. Good. Yeah. All right. We got the sugars. Then add the flour. All right. Why is your why does my flour not seem this fine? Well, like, because we don't know what flour that really is. Hell, it could be cake flour. Uh oh. One teaspoon baking powder and soda, right? Yeah. This is a teaspoon. Yeah. Okay, I found a thing on how to um, like transfer images onto jars. It looks a lot better than that. You gonna make me one? Mm hmm Great. I just wanted a glass jar to put my baking soda. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna test, taste this uh, stroganoff and see if I need to add salt or pepper. You didn't add salt and pepper. To see if we need to but add. But you didn't add any, so you probably do. Okay, I need a folder. This ain't gonna matter. I gave you a spatula. Where? Oh, I blended. No. That's why you do like this. I need a bigger bowl. You don't need a bigger bowl. I need a bigger bowl. Taste that stroganoff. You didn't add any salt and pepper, did you? No, because there's salt in that can and there's salt in that I didn't that even powder. know you put in the mushrooms. I put in the mushrooms. Did you, you put in the everything now? Did you everything. put salt? No. I need a four teaspoon of salt. No. Too much salt? Need salt? Right? Thank you. 
No pepper. You want pepper? See, I'm not big on a lot of salt. Some of you may want a little more salt, but I don't like a lot of salt. I don't like I don't like salt. I don't like things. really salty food, so Okay, so do you want to add pepper? There's pepper. There's a little pepper. I just want a little pepper. That I do like this. Okay. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in. Okay, so in this banana bread, after you add the flour and stuff, which um I just don't know how this is all done in one bowl. But anyway, after you're getting the flour and the the sodas in there, you don't want to over mix it. You just want to incorporate it because it doesn't get too tough. Yeah. So, okay, so this is it. We're going to do some of these like this. Okay, we need a dipper. Um, where's the nuts? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're right here. Right, right here. here. Back in it goes. No, you can add it. No. Okay, just like in it? Yeah, look. Oh my god. That's the most important part of banana bread. <laughs> Did I mention we were you, you in the kitchen? <laughs> There's nothing professional <laughs> about this. Yeah, just... It's just mush them in it? Yeah, just mix it yeah. with the spoon. Okay. This one's easier. You want to add chocolate chips to some of them? Shit, we can add whatever we want Ooh. now. I got chocolate chips. Let's do got... some chocolate chips and, yeah. Okay, I don't have enough room on this pan for all. It's well, only making a... five mini loaves. Do you have a spoon? mini need take some nuts out of that. Huh? Ooh, that's a good batter, is it? Uh-huh. See? It's gonna be like that bad. Make it look good. That bad, right? Okay. Okay, those are cooking at 325. I'm really excited about this recipe because the batter is wicked good. And they're portobello mushrooms too, they're not um you want a serving spoon? What do you want? Do you want to taste it? I don't know. Um, what about mushrooms? They aren't like the white mushrooms. I don't know the difference. All I know is there are mushrooms you eat and mushrooms that get you high. But you also eat. <laughs> <laughs> Never had them. But I know about them. And how do you know about Oh, you learned that in agriculture class. No. That's also where you say it. yes. Oh. Oh, the Discovery Channel. Yeah, they show you all those things. All right. Oh, with that locked up and abroad. How is it? Hot. So why did I have the butter out? Did we ever have to add butter? <laughs> what did we do with the butter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Half the calories. <laughs> I guess that was that other recipe that I didn't know what that recipe was too, so we didn't need the butter. Are you sure? Yeah, but that's go not back to the work. go back to the stroganoff. This may make a whole other stroganoff. So while we wait for this page to load, now if you have any comments or suggestions about this show, let us know. If you think that we irritate I'm, you, I'm sure you have maybe we'll get better. <laughs> Doubt it, <laughs> but maybe you never know. Um, but again, the whole point of this, anyway, at the end of the day is, is it a recipe that you should make yourself? Do you want to spend the time doing, do you want to do this in your own kitchen? So, uh. Preferably you have somebody to do it with. Yeah. It's more fun. Somebody, your best friend, your sister. Um. Okay. It does make it fun. I'm trying to get to the recipe. Oh, I have a screenshot. No, no butter. No butter. Never need I don't butter. know where the butter came in. That was that recipe that I didn't know what that recipe was to because it said no bananas and I thought it was to that. Okay, but we know the jar softens the butter. The jar does soften the butter. Right. So, agreed. And your finished product. Oh, you didn't put parsley you, on it. How do you? You have to put parsley on it. We'll take a picture. And show Where's the parsley? I have oregano. I don't want oregano. 
No parsley? I we don't need those. parsley. I mean, I've got... We don't need parsley. It's just for garnish anyway. Okay, so we'll take... Did you take my fork? Alright, so we'll take pictures and put it at the end. But this is... You want to take a picture before I eat? Does it look... Is, it's look, pretty. see? Pretty. Can you like... Yeah, you can look at that. Look. 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 Like... That looks good. Tastes good, too. Alright. Alright, let's see. That's good stuff, Maynard. It smells good. It does smell good. I like it? Yeah, it's actually really good. Hmm? It's really good. It's really good. So this is really, really good. Definitely worth the time in the kitchen if you <laughs> want to make it on the stove or in a crock pot. It's probably even Belvedere in a, in a crock pot because all that has time to, like, really get together and be whatever crock pot magic does and um but i will say Alyssa rivers definitely a winner i'm excited to try some of her other recipes um i'm gonna see what else she has pinned and um definitely worth checking out she's her blog is really cute if you like to read recipes if you don't like to read the blogs but you like recipes i still say go to her site it's really it's really she's really good you know it's good that's good very good so now we'll see how this banana recipe comes out. But the batter how looks really good. How long do you have to cook? I don't know until it's done. I've been like, I don't know, it's like any other cake. Well, it ain't done now. You got Parmesan cheese? Mm-hmm. I'll see what this is. The bottom door. You want to shut the fridge? How are we doing with time or time? It's good. Okay. So if you want to make, I think that if you wanted to make this more rich, because it's really clean. Like right now, it's got a good flavor. It's really good. Um, it's It doesn't have a heaviness to it. But if you wanted a richer sauce where it's, you know, just much more rich and, and more dense, I would add maybe two things of cream cheese. Again, not 18 ounces, but to 8 ounces, 16 ounces. I guess you could at 16 ounces. Go ahead and make an 8 ounce, 18 ounce. Mm -hmm. And then maybe uh, you could do a little bit more chicken. I don't care for the cream of mushroom, like, adding heaviness. So I would leave, like, the chicken. 10 ounce, but do, like, the chicken cream granulars. Cream of chicken. Huh? It's not cream of mushroom. Did I say mushroom again? No. A cream of chicken. And um, I would do like maybe some chicken granular, just give a little. I wonder what it tastes like with cream mushroom. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's got a mushroom base. It can't be bad. But mushroom? she doesn't have a recipe for homemade cream of mushroom. Just no. saying, because she linked her cream of chicken recipe down there, which I still say you should try. Uh, maybe you should try cream mushroom now. Cream. Of, we need to try cream mushroom. It's a mushroom thing. Mhm. Mm Alright. Ooh. It's That's pretty. 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 Okay, so we have our. I know where nothing is in this kitchen. It's exactly where it was the last time that you were actually living here. Okay, here's our uh, banana nut bread. Do we have like something that cuts smoothly? Yeah, a charade knife. Would not be this one. No. Eva, want a piece of banana? Well, and it's hot, so. Hot piece of banana bread? Okay, but it looks really good. It does look really good. Okay, very hot. We haven't let it cool yet because we don't really We don't like care. That. are really moist very moist very moist very hot very hot I don't know if it would be this moist when I cook it probably would be but it's very moist but here's what I like to I don't ever cook anything like when I make a cake I never make it it's like right before it's done because yeah, you know finished. it's going to keep mm -hmm. cooking it is good it's good okay 
This is Joanna Kismaru. 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 I don't know. It's got to sound more exotic than that. I know. Joanna did a great job on this recipe. It's really, really moist. So good when it's warm. We don't know what it's like when it's cold because we don't want to wait. But the batter was amazing. The recipe is really, really good. It is so moist, and the top has that like nice, crispy, like a you know, it'd like probably be good if you sprinkled some powdered sugar on top. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna try a peanut butter one for my peanut butter loving friends. Um, send that off. Cocoa and powdered package. sugar. What? What? Cocoa, Cocoa and, and powdered, powdered sugar. sugar. Hot. It's so freaking good. It's so good. It's so good. Now, if you wanted to like kick this up, you could put like nutmeg in it, cinnamon in it. Um, you don't need it. I mean, this was really good. But if you just wanted to give it more of a kick. hop, yeah, like a kick or a hop, I was gonna. You say, love to give it a hop. I was gonna say a, ho a holiday oh. kick, but you didn't let me put it. But if you want, <laughs> don't choke. I don't know CPR. Oh, <laughs> she does. She does. Um. So if you want to add like nutmeg and cinnamon, it'll give it more of a holiday, you know, versus like, it, you know, people don't really care for apple or pumpkin, something like that. This is just really, really good. But I would eat pumpkin pie year round because I love pumpkin. But this is really good. We added um, walnuts mm. to ours. We added chocolate chips. And and it works really well if you add the walnuts at the last minute and just stir it stir into it in. the actual pan. Yes. It's, we, Yeah. We recover well. Because we forgot it. Yeah. Forgot a lot of stuff. Um, so we're going to get brown sugar. I got more coming. You eat it. Um, so I definitely recommend this recipe. Also, oh, and then I think like if you had like a creamy peanut butter, which I guess you could use, you know, one that was crunchy, but a creamy peanut butter, warm it up and swirl it in, you know, to kind of have a peanut butter. But I'm going to make like a straight up peanut butter, banana, bread. Um... I you see really how well like peanut butter? No, I don't. I like peanut butter, but I have a friend that loves peanut butter. Like, loves peanut butter. Lives for peanut butter. So, I'm going to make a care package um, for my friend, and it's going to have, like, all things peanut butter. But I don't want it to be just, like, peanut butter cookies. Like, boring. I want it to be, like, really different flavors, but with the peanut butter. Make wine. You want to make wine? We'll blow up the kitchen. Do you know how to can? You don't even know how to can a tomato and you want to make wine? I think you have to can to make wine. Isn't it the same process? I have no clue. We're going to be moonshiners. I don't know what you do to make wine. We're going to need heavy donations to probably get but buzzed. But here's a good thing. Machines. You can Google anything. You can Google anything, but it doesn't make it good. That's the point of the show. That's the point of this show. We will have fails and we will have successes. <laughs> This one was a success. So I will say, um, yeah. So this was a this was a six, 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 success. Yep, yeah, we're finishing. Okay. Bucket. So this was definitely a, a good cooking day. The dessert and the main course was really really good. Definitely a keeper. Links will be in the bottom. Where it uh, the source was from will be in the bottom. We really enjoy doing it together. I hope you guys have as much fun as we do. You might not get our humor. But well, you're not here for humor, you're here for the recipes, and hopefully you're entertained at the same time. But we do this for you and for us. So thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends, and if you know, just offer them a dollar and let them know that it's worth tuning in because at least they'll earn something. So anyway, I don't think it's worth a dollar. It's worth a dollar. <laughs> They're my autograph. You know, I give them an autograph out, and I'm mm -hmm. like, if it's not worth anything in a year, give it back to me, I'll give you a dollar. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Thanks for joining. We're the Greek Bitches. You can follow us on social media if you want. If you don't, we're not going to follow ourselves on social media either. But, you know, peace out. And uh, we'd say something in Greek, but we don't really speak Greek. So, peace out. Peace, Ma. <laughs> what is that? Chair. 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 Learn Greek. <laughs> Kathy's mom. Alright, I'm going to Google cooking music and see what comes up. D. Martin. Can we play that on um, YouTube? We'll get the mute us because we don't have licensing right.
Oh, we can't. I do have music that I can Well, listen. you can put, we have no license to play the music or something like that. <laughs> no, you have to put that you have the license. No, you can. <laughs> to the music is something they pose. <laughs> <laughs>